It's not often you get to be up close and personal with your favourite star. But if you're a fan of a certain petite female singer with a trademark beehive hairstyle, you're in for a real treat. A wax model of Amy Winehouse has been unveiled today at London's Madame Tussauds. Here's Emma Simpson with more. Amy Winehouse immortalised in wax. It's been 18 months since Jade Goody was accused of racism towards Bollywood actress Shilpa Shetty during her time in the celebrity Big Brother house. Well, now it looks as if the outspoken reality TV star is set to appear in the Indian version of the show, which Shilpa hosts. Producers Endemol have yet to deny or confirm Jade's appearance, but as usual, Miss Goody is doing what she does best and causing quite a stir. Russell Brand. You will remember that name, because I think pretty soon that's going to be your surname, Brittany Brand. Oh, gosh. Brittany and Brand there. I'm sure if Russell had his way, there'd be uh, wedding bells very, very soon. Staying with Brittany now, because she's also given her first interview in nearly two years to the US edition of OK. The magazine described her as a very different woman to the erratic and distracted Brittany who stormed out of an OK photo shoot last year. So, Tasman, what are you uh, reporting for us this evening? Well, good evening, Ben. Uh, we now know that police officers um, actually spoke to TV presenter Mark Spate just hours before he's reported missing, and they said he appeared very distraught and deep in thought and obviously his friends and family are very concerned for his welfare so uh, let's start with our top story tonight and the latest on missing TV presenter Mark Spate. The new Batman film has set a box office record in the US for the best ever opening weekend taking in over 70 million pounds but how successful will the Dark Knight be over here? Kill the Batman. The interest in this movie has been extraordinary, largely because the Joker is played by Heath Ledger. The actor died in January at the age of 28 following an accidental drugs overdose. While well, Heath's co-stars have paid tribute to his performance, and many critics are now saying he may win an Oscar for his role. He's the primary villain. He's created an iconic uh, portrayal of the Joker, unlike any portrayal we've seen before. And that's not just a character, that's a great actor. That's Heath. In a moving interview with the BBC, she talked publicly for the very first time about her mother's battle with multiple sclerosis. She was walking unaided. Well, just a little earlier, I asked showbiz journalist Dean Piper why Madonna, who's notoriously media shy, decided to release this statement now and so soon after the last one. Um, Dean, Madonna and Guy Ritchie are putting on a very public show of unity. What do you think is going to happen next? But um, a lot of people are saying that McCain's uh, campaign ad was a bit of a waste of time. At 71 years old, is he trying too hard to be too hip? What about the public obsession with celebrity culture? Aren't you just feeding it? Aren't you making people, anyone off reality TV, famous? Yeah, absolutely. Now, you've had a really long career in the entertainment business. Um, what kind of keeps inspiring you to keep going on? I love working. Now, you played a psychologist in Basic Instinct 2. I did. And uh, with uh, Sharon Stone and her ice picks, very dangerous <laughs> looking things, weren't they? Um, what, do you think the reviews were fair? That's a tough question. You've taken pictures of celebrities while they've been on holiday, private yeah. holidays. Is that morally right? Now, Heather, is this kind of harassment just an unfortunate occupational hazard of being in the public eye? Because obviously Uma's not the only celebrity to have a stalker, is she? You're watching E24 from BBC News. A look at a few other showbiz headlines now. And Nicole Kidman has given birth to a baby girl in Nashville, USA. Madonna every night. It's all about the Queen of Pop yet again. Good evening. It seems she's never out of the headlines at the moment. Madonna's still battling off rumours about the collapse of her marriage to Guy Ritchie and the speculation that she's had an affair with US baseball player Alex Rodriguez. But today she had some support from her estranged brother when he appeared on breakfast TV show Good Morning America. First of all, uh, despite everything else, she's still a Catholic girl. And um, I don't think, although he is kind of her type, well, Madonna's brother there, who seems to be backing his sister's marriage and says Madonna is a good Catholic girl. Well, just a little earlier, I spoke to a reporter, Heather Alexander, New York, and asked her what else Madonna's brother had to say, because not all of it was quite so complimentary. It's been six years since the hit TV series ended, but fans of Mulder and Scully will be glad to know the relationship between the pair has lost none of its sexual tension. E24's Sophie Van Bruggen managed to catch up with a certain female FBI special agent.
Gillian Anderson, Hi. aka Dana Skelly. From Time Lord to Prince of Denmark, but one of the biggest stars of television will tonight take to the stage as Hamlet. You're William Shakespeare! And finally tonight, if you've been missing them, the Pussycat Dolls are back with their new single, When I Grow Up. Fresh and clean, number one chick, wanna step out on the And that's all the entertainment news for now. You saw that. Cool. Nick's cool. hands were going cool. for it. <laughs> I'll be back uh, with uh, War at 6.30, 9.30 tomorrow. Nick, you were really loving that way. It was good, it wasn't anything that was good. <laughs>Hello, I'm Tasman Nasir Khan with the latest headlines from BBC News. The president of Georgia has said most of his country is now under Russian occupation. Georgian troops are preparing to defend the capital, Tbilisi. The Russians insist they're protecting their own people in the breakaway region of South Ossetia. In a statement tonight, George Bush condemned Russia's actions. Russia has invaded a sovereign neighboring state and threatens a democratic government elected by its people. Colin Stagg, the man wrongly tried for the murder of Rachel Nickel 14 years ago, has been awarded compensation of more than £700,000. The case against him was thrown out on the grounds that police had used a honey trap plot to encourage him to confess. Another man has since been charged with a crime. An inquest into the deaths of the British couple who were shot on their honeymoon in Antigua has been opened and adjourned in Swansea. The bodies of Ben and Catherine Mullaney, both 31, have been released for burial. They were shot during a bungled robbery at their hotel.